Hey, blessings, prayer warriors. God bless you on this Thursday, June 6th. My, oh, my, time is flying. But as I said yesterday, no matter, we live forever. Amen. Thursday, June 6th. Let's see. Our Bible reading is John chapter 16, verse 1 through 15. Look at verse 7. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him to you. And when he has come, he will convict the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. The world of sin because they do not believe in me. Of righteousness because I go to my father and you see me no more. Of judgment because the ruler of this world is judged, Satan. I still have many things to tell, say to you. But you cannot bear them now. However, when he, the spirit of truth, has come, he has come, he will guide us into all truth, for he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will tell you things to come. Good stuff, right, church family? All right, so today we're praying over the media. We're also praying for South Africa, 58 million people, 21% evangelical Christian. Pray for the health of believing workers that God would protect them from illness, fatigue, and burnout. Pray that their emotional and mental well-being ask God to grant peace and joy and, and even in the face of challenging situations and overwhelming demand. Pray for wisdom and renewal. Amen. Amen. All right, I think we're ready. We got everything. Oh, we're praying for Nevada today. So the media is our prayer focus. Nevada is our state and South Africa is our country. Let's pray. Father, again, we praise you and thank you for another good day. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, Lord, what is man that you are mindful of us? The son of man that you would visit us. For you have made us a little lower than yourself. You have crowned us with honor and glory. And all we can say is, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's all you want from us is a thank you. So we give it to you greatly because we love you so much, Father. Love you so much. Lord, as we come, I lift up our world before you first today. We pray for the nation of South Africa, Lord. We hear what's going on in the news there. It's like something's going on everywhere. But right now in South Africa, we pray for them. We pray for the people there. We pray, Father, for this team that's going out, Lord, that they would not have illness, that they would not have fatigue, that they will not have burnout. I pray for their emotional and mental well-being. Lord, it can get weary at times. I know you said in your word, that we're not to be weary in well-doing for in due season. We will reap if we faint not. So we pray for the people of South Africa and we lift up our world before you. We pray for the nations of this world, Father, and we pray. We pray for people, Lord. There are so many, what, over 150 some odd nations in this world. Let me see on our chart here, it's 217, 217, but we pray for all these nations, that the people of these nations, be it a nation of just 100,000 people or a nation like China, India, over a billion people each, we pray for individual people that they would come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. And I thank you for that. I lay my hands on this map. If you have the map with you, go ahead and lay your hands on it. And we pray for our world today the needs of the people of our world in Jesus' name. We lift up before you also these nations of our world, Guyana, Suriname, Ecuador, Peru, Brazil, Bolivia, Chile. And we pray for the nations, Lord, these nations with the other nations of our world. And we just pray again for people, Lord, I look at this, Brazil, 24 million people. Chile, 23 million people. Ecuador, 10 million people. We pray, Father. We see some. Peru is uh, 
Oh, I, I read that wrong. I'm sorry. Brazil, 213 million people with 24% evangelical Christians, Lord, and on and on. We just thank you for that, Lord. We pray for Israel today and all that's going on there. And we pray for wisdom, favor, and your guidance in this great nation. We pray again for the peace of Jerusalem. Psalm 122, verse 6. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. It's what you've asked us to do. That's why we do it every day, Lord. We lift up Israel, our world, and now we lift up the United States of America. We pray today for Nevada, Sin City, right? What goes on in Vegas, stays in Vegas, all these statements we hear. Well, Lord, thank you that we're not caught up in gambling. Thank you that we're not caught up in fornication and adultery. But we are living sacrifices, holy, acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. We pray today, Father, for the needs of our nation. We pray for those that are in authority. We bind up evil people. And we pray for the godly people, Lord. And we pray for your direction and guidance, Lord. Lord, it seems like we're at the tipping point, but you're a God of miracles. We just trust you. However, we trust you, Lord, and we trust you. We keep our eyes upon you, Lord. We trust you, and I thank you. Thank you for that. I lift up before you, Father, the different organizations and works that are out there doing a great work for the kingdom of God. I lift up Sussex Christian School, Dulos Global, And Riza Safa, we pray for these ministries. We lift up Christian Faith Fellowship Church, every member, attender, and guest, Lord. And we pray for them. We pray for those that have raised their hands recently, that, Lord, they can be touched with the gospel. But, Lord, we don't want the seed just sown, and that's the end of it. We want, Father, that people would grow in you. People would grow in you, in Jesus' name. Now, Lord, we also lift up Christ for all people, Christ for all nations, Christ to the world ministry, Christian and Missionary Alliance, CBN, Christian Broadcasting Network, the Christian Educator Association, Christian Health Services Corp. Now, we pray for these, Lord, and I thank you for these different works that are out there doing a great job. Yes, I'll do that. Just feel led by the Holy Spirit to pray for all churches in our community where they believe in the full gospel. I'm not going to pray for churches that put flags outside, if you know what I mean, and on and on. We pray for churches that are preaching the, the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I thank you, Lord. Thank you for providing for all their needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Lord, we're going on our 31st church anniversary, Lord, and you have taken us, and we've had dry times and exciting times, and Lord, I thank you that we're growing in you, and we're going to continue to grow in you, but I lift up other churches today. I lift up young churches, young pastors that are trying to get it going. Oh, it was such a fearful time in my life. Will this work? Will you do it? We had no backing. We just had you, Lord, and so we trusted you, and Lord, I want to be a backing to these young pastors to help them. I call them. I reach out to them. They got to take steps too also. Thank you for that, Lord. I lift up the prayer cards now that have come in. And we pray for the needs of fellow brothers and sisters. And I just thank you, Lord, that you are a God that meets all of our needs according to your riches and glory. Oh, how we love you. Oh, how we praise you. Thank you, Lord, for healing bodies. Thank you, Lord, for giving freedom in minds. Thank you, Lord, for what you have begun, what you're doing. You're a good, good father. Thank you. Now we pray one for another. And I lift up my brothers and sisters and any ailment that they might have today. Lord, as the body gets older, we need your strength. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Thank you, Lord, that we can be living in health doing a few good things, eating right, exercising, but also trusting your word. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. 
They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. So, Lord, I pray for my brothers and sisters. I pray for our brains today. Just hear that, brains. And, Lord, I pray for memory. They say the brain controls the left side, the right side of the brain, all that it has. I pray, Father, that our brains would be strong, our brains would grow the right way, and our brains would not harden. Our brains would not become where we forget. Short-term memory, you come back. Long-term memory, you come back. In Jesus' name. Now, Father, I pray for these precious ones that take time out each day to pray, and I pray your blessing and your goodness upon them, Lord. Thank you that you that has begun a work in them, you will bring it to completion. You're such a good, good Father. Now, Father, we praise you and honor you, and thank you again for your goodness and your love. Thank you that, Jesus, you are Lord. We love you so. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Listen, have a great day, amen. God's blessings upon you and your family. Please share this. Be a blessing to others, amen. God bless.